question 19 but a a number is selected at random from the numbers 90 91 92 93 and 94 a second number is then selected at random from the numbers 2 3 4 and 5 afterwards a quotient is obtained by dividing the first number selected by the second number part 1 complete the probability space in the following table so from the statement here uh, the quotient is obtained by dividing the first number and the first number is this the first number by the second number by the second number the second number is this so you're supposed to complete this table and notice uh, the table has been filled uh, with mixed numbers so ensure that you write your answers when you're filling the table as mixed numbers don't change that so how has it been filled you simply take from the ones that are filled here uh, for example look at these eh? 93 divided by 2 you get 46 and a half that is why it has been filled 93 divided by 3 So the other one is 92 divided by 3, you get 30 and 2 thirds. Then for this one you have 91 divided by 4, you get 22 and 3 quarters. Then 90 divided by 5, you get 18. So we can now begin like this one, 90 divided by 2, we write the answer there. So 90 divided by 2, you get that one as... 45 then you go to the next 91 divided by 2 read the answer here 91 divided by 2 that one will give 45 and a half then the next is 92 divided by 2 read the answer here that will be 46 Then the next is 94 divided by 2. You write the answer here. It will be 47. Go to the second row. 90 divided by 3. You write the answer here. It will be 30. Then the next is 91 divided by 3. We put the answer here. It will be 30. And a third. The next, 93 divided by 3, we write the answer here. That would be 31. Lastly, 94 divided by 3, you write the answer here. To be 31 and a third. We go to the third row. 90 divided by 4, the answer here will be 22 and a half. Then the next, 91, that one is filled, divided by 4, it is filled there. So we got 92 divided by 4, put the answer here, that will be 23. Ninety three divided by 4. We read the answer here to be 23 and a quarter. Then lastly, 94 divided by 4. Read the answer here. 23 and a half. The last row, 90 divided by 5, you get 18. So 91 divided by 5 will be 18. And a fifth. Then the next, 92 divided by 5. We write the answer here. That would be 18 and 2 fifth.
Then the next is 93 divided by 5. Write the answer there. 18 and 3 fifths. And then lastly, 94 divided by 5. Read the answer there. 18 and 4 fifths. So that is all for part 1. We go to the next part. Part 2. Determine the probability that the quotient obtained is a whole number. The probability that the quotient obtained is a whole number. So, let us uh, check for the whole numbers. The whole number, that is 1, whole number. This 2 is 3. There is 4. There is 5. There is 6. And there is 7. So, the probability will be 7 divided by the total outcomes. Total outcomes. You just count all the values here. All these are the outcomes. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So out of all the outcomes, which are 20. Then part 2. Determine the probability that the quotient obtained is a recurring decimal. Recurring decimal. So let's identify the recurring decimals so the first recurring decimal is here 30 and a third then there is uh, 30 and two thirds then 31 and a third and um, i think those are the only recurring decimals so there are three there are three so we have these 30 and a third that one and a third and 30 and two thirds so there are three so therefore the probability is three three out of the total outcomes which is 20. we go to part b part b of the question In a shooting practice, the probability that a soldier will hit the target in his first attempt is 60%. The prob this probability increases by 10% in the second attempt. The soldier shoots at the target twice. Determine the probability that 1. The soldier will miss the target only once. Then the second part, the soldier will miss the target in both attempts. So go to the first one. Uh, in the shooting practice, the probability that soldier will hit the target in the first attempt is 60. But in the second attempt, the probability increases by 10%. So can you use the tree diagram? The soldier shoots at the target twice. So we'll have tree diagram with two branches uh, so that is the first that is hitting the target and missing the target and it is twice so we shall have two branches this is the second attempt hitting not hitting the target yeah we have hitting the target not hitting the target so the probability that in the first attempt this is the first attempt and the second attempt is the second branch here Target is 60% and 60% 60 is 60 divided by 100. So missing the target will be 40%, 40 over 100. But in the second attempt, the probability of hitting the target increases by 10%. So how do we get that? It increases by 10%. So there are two ways of doing this. So if it increases by 10%, you can get... What is that increase of 10%? 10%, which is 10 over 100, times 60%. So we see what is the increase in the percentage. And this will give uh, an increase of 6%. So therefore, in the second attempt, it will not be 60. It will be 
the increase is 6%, so you have to add 60 so that you get 66%. So that is the second attempt. So here we shall have 66 over 100. Another method you can use is by taking 60% uh, to be 100. That is 100%. So we take 60% uh, to be 100%. Then after an increase it will, of 10%, it will not be 100% to be 110%. So 60% represents 100%. After the increase, which is 110%, what percentage will it be? So you just cross multiply, you will get 110 times 60 divided by 100. And this one will give you 66%. So those are the two ways of doing it. So if the second attempt uh, 66%, then missing the target in the second attempt will be 34%. So here we have 66%. This will be 34%. So the probability the soldier will miss the target only once. So let me complete this. This is the first attempt, hitting in both attempts, then hitting then the second attempt missing here missing the first attempt the second attempt hitting uh, then the last one is missing in both attempts so missing the target only once will be obtained from missing only once it is either this or this missing only once that is why he misses once and hits once so therefore this will be the probability of hitting then missing or the probability of missing then hitting. So working out these you'll get, so you're picking these, so you're picking these, so 60% times 34, this is what you're picking, 60% times 34, times 34 percent or you add uh, this one or this one 40 percent times 66 percent times 66 percent like that so working out this uh, this will give uh, 60 percent times that four percent simplify this will give you 51 divided by 250 then 40% times 66% this will give you 33 divided by 125 then you add the 2 51 over 250 plus 33 divided by 125 this will give 117 divided by 250 that is the solution the second part the soldier will miss the target in both attempts missing in both attempts missing in both attempts means the probability of not hitting not hitting that is what we mean so we are getting that from here this is where he misses in both attempts so that will be given by 40 percent times 34 percent and this one when you work it out and simplify you get 17 divided by 125.